Hi, this is the lesson number 25 in this series of British literature. So in this series we are discussing some of the important points of the Chaucerian age. So previously we discussed uh, Wycliffe and then we had discussion ab about uh, J William Langland. And now in this lesson we shall discuss John Gower. He is a good friend of Sir Geoffrey Chaucer. So remember one of the poem uh, written by Sir Geoffrey Chaucer that is Trialus and Crusade. In that poem, in fact that poem is dedicated to John Gower by Sir Geoffrey Chaucer. So this is a point. Sir Geoffrey Chaucer dedicated Trialus and Crusade to which writer or poet that is John Gower. Then we have another point. C.S. Lewis. He is a 20th century writer. He mentioned John Gower in which work and the work is Allegory of Love. C.S. Lewis mentioned John Gower in a work that is named as Allegory of Love. So about John Gower's poetry and most of the contents in his poems were about moral things, political, religious, historical issues and mostly he wrote in French, Latin and English languages. So three major languages he covered French, Latin and English. So we have a few of his important works so we shall now discuss about these works. The first important work in French that is Mirror Dion. Mirror Dion. This is also called as the Mirror of Man in English. So French name is Mirror Dion and in English it is called as the Mirror of Man. And about the content of this poem we have uh, it's about married life, fall of man, effects of sins in the world. And it also talks about the union of devil and sins and their respective daughters. There are seven daughters. So the union of devil and sin and their seven daughters. So it is this poem is basically uh, reflecting some moral ideas about uh, vices and the virtues and the devils, sins and all those moral things. Then we have another work that is in Latin now. The first was in French. The next work we have that is called as Vox Clementis. Vox Clementis. This work is written in Latin. And uh, this work in English is called as the voice of one crying out. And about the content of this poem we have uh, about uh, sins and especially about the corruption in politics and uh, it this work gives a detailed uh, representation of the peasant revolt in 1381 I told you about that peasant revolt famous peasant revolt so this uh, event of peasant revolt have become the content of major works so one of them is Vox Clementis so in this work John Gower attacked uh, the government structure, the politicians and uh, all the admi administrative authorities because they were not doing fair things or they were not justifying with their deeds and they were not doing justice to the poor people. By getting impressed with this work, Sir Geoffrey Chaucer, when he got impressed with this work, he gave a title Moral Gower to John Gower. So with this work we can say with this work Vox Clementis uh, Sir Geoffrey Chaucer got impressed because of its moral uh, content especially the things about the sufferings of the poor, the peasants and uh, the criticism of the government. By all these content Sir Geoffrey got Chaucer got impressed and he gave the title Moral Gower to uh, Sir John Gower. So now the third uh, poem we have that is called as Confessio Amentus. This work is written in English. So the first work was in French then it was in Latin and now Confessio Amentus it is written in English. 
and the confessio mentis means the lover's confession and this is a masterpiece uh, by John Gower it is expanding over 33,000 lines in Middle English and there are several points about this poem so I just quickly repeat those uh, recite those points the first one it is written in octasyllabic couplet octasyllabic couplet is used in this poem and this is written on the request of Richard II you remember when I introduced the age of Chaucer at that time I, I mentioned that there was a uh, there were three kings in the life of uh, Sir Geoffrey Chaucer so one of them was Richard II so Richard II was quite worried at that time that uh, there was not much written literature in English language at that time because it was the beginning of the Middle English at that time so what he was concerned that there should be something to show that there is something in English in Middle English so on the request by Richard II Confessio Amentis was written by Sir John Gower and uh, the story in this poem we have in narrative form with a prologue and it is expanding over uh, uh, eight books and uh, the, in the content line we have there is an old man and he is making his confession of love to goddess Venus so Venus is the goddess and he is making confession of his love and uh, this resu result in the collection of uh, several love stories so it contains uh, several love stories uh, so eight books so there may be number of love story, stories sorry and uh, one story among these number of stories so we have one story that serves as a source to Pericles the Prince of Tyre you may have heard this name Pericles the Prince of Tyre written by the famous William Shakespeare so one point we can note that Pericles the Prince of Tyre by William Shakespeare is based on uh, the one of the story written in Confucius Amentis poem by Sir John Gower so that's it about Sir John Gower so we have uh, this uh, poet writing in three different languages French, Latin and English in French Miradion in Latin Vox Clementis and in English we have Confessio Amentis so that's it about Sir John Gower thanks for watching this lesson have a nice day